We recruited other men about the same age as David, Stu, and Rob, but taller. We asked them all to dress in jeans and a sweater, and then we did something cruel. We put them in lineups, five at a time, behind a two-way mirror. The men couldn't see or hear what was going on in the next room. That's where we invited groups of women to look at the men and choose a date. In this case, we wanted to see if anyone would pick five, three. I'm not intimidated by taller girls. I do find them. All men are not created equal, at least in size. Millions of little boys grow up to be short men. And if you're not one of them, you're about to find out how size can dramatically affect a man's life. When we first broadcast... Men are always judged based on their height, even though only 10% of men worldwide are 6 feet tall and above. And this woman still fighting over tall men. As this story last May, we did an unusual experiment to test the theory that short men are often given short shrift, discriminated against over a matter of inches. Lynn Schur with the surprising results. Imagine a world where nothing fits, where pants are too long. The crotches are down to here, the seat's down to here, and the pants are up to there. Where elevators are filled with giants. Kind of get cramped and, you know, it's kind of hard to breathe sometimes. Where driving a car means your feet don't reach the pedals. You have to fumble down here and some have bars underneath and some have these little electronic things on the side you have to figure out. And where you can't see the movie screen, let alone find a date to take there. I don't care hair color, eye color, skin color. They need to be tall. Sorry. Welcome to the world of short men. We asked her to help us construct an experiment to test just how willing women are to date shorter men. And we found three brave volunteers. Stu is the shortest. How tall are you? I'm five foot and uh, five five with the afro. <laughs> Rob is 5'3". He prefers taller women. I kind of enjoy it. I mean, I think there are some serious advantages to being a little bit, having a woman who's a little bit taller. David is getting married this fall. She is 5 feet tall. And you are? I am 5'6". Oh, well. Yeah. Okay. Giant, right. <laughs> we recruited other men about the same age as David, Stu, and Rob, but taller. We asked them all to dress in jeans and a sweater, and then we did something cruel. We put them in lineups, five at a time, behind a two-way mirror. The men couldn't see or hear what was going on in the next room. That's where we invited groups of women to look at the men and choose a date. In this case, we wanted to see if anyone would pick 5-3 Rob. When Andrea told us women like doctors, we gave him an MD. Their choice? Andrew. Uh, I would say Matt, I think. No, Rob. We piled on some more assets. We said besides being a doctor, he was also a best-selling author and champion skier who just built his own ski house. Does that affect your choices? He's still short. <laughs> then we gave Rob a promotion. We made him chief of staff at a prestigious hospital. Who would you pick him? Angie's probably the closest to who I'd pick. I'd pick Matt. Jeffrey, the pilot. What would it take? Now we said Rob was also a gourmet cook who loves children. Oh, definitely. I would take him in a minute then. Height, no problem. I wouldn't because I would think I don't want short little kids. <laughs> I was thinking, like, <laughs> well, at least someone like Rob. But if it was this harsh for him at 5'3", what would it take to get a date for Stu at just five feet? First, we made him an up-and-coming actor. <laughs> no. No. Not. Then we said Stu had made millions by age 25. No. No? Not for me. Okay. Nothing worked. How come nobody picks Stu? Despite Stu having everything a woman could want, they still rejected him due to his height. That's very sad. He's too short. He's too short. <laughs> He's too short. <laughs> we asked if there was anything we could add to make Stu irresistible. Maybe the only right. thing you could say is that the other four are murderers. Right, are convicted of some crime. Convicted murderers. Murderers. Are definitely child molesters. Are, are, are psychotic. Right. Right, exactly. Yeah. And then we you would know. say, oh, okay. <laughs> Hello, Stu. Right. So the majority of women will only date shorter men because they have run out of options. Mm, that's very sad. I mean, and nothing bad yeah. towards him. He's got a nice smile. He's, he's, he's cute. But no takers. So we replaced Stu with David to see if 5-6 made a difference. We brought in one last group of women. When they all picked this fellow, we told them he'd been unemployed for two years, but that our David was a chief surgeon. I guess it would be David. <laughs> for me. Yes. That's exactly what I was saying. They only chose shorter men because they have no other choice. <laughs> yeah. Two took David right away. But Tara chose Jim, 
whom we'd made a high school gym teacher. Would it change anything if I told you that David, besides being a, a chief surgeon, had just published a book that he was a gourmet cook, loved kids, and extremely wealthy? Yeah, I'd switch to David real quick. <laughs> I mean, let's be realistic. I'm going to bag the gym teacher now. <laughs> So what's going on here? You had to make those short guys almost like God to make them desirable, right? We finally made them God, and that's when <laughs> <laughs> they chose. And this surprises you? <laughs> it obviously doesn't surprise you. No. Yale psychologist Les Martel is 5'5". Five five. It goes back to caveman times. We simply judge people, particularly men, based on their height, on their size, on their physical presence. Why is that? We asked several of the women to come back and tell us. I feel best friends because they're very enthusiastic, caring, because they have to make up for their height. But you have no interest in going out with someone shorter than no. you? No. I'm just attracted to taller men. I'm only 5'5 five five myself, but I just, I just like taller men. I have to tell you, and it breaks my heart to tell you this, it turned out that being short was not good. Does that surprise anybody? I don't think so. Absolutely no. not. Tell me what you were thinking while you were standing out there with the taller guys. Sure aren't picking us. <laughs> <laughs> you want to look up into his eyes and it, you want it to be like a movie. There's a stereotype in society that says when you find your mate, um, the man is bigger and the, the woman is smaller. You know, Tarzan, Jane and we didn't get to speak, so... Well, you didn't get to speak, but we spoke on your behalf. Oh, thanks. And we made you doctors, chief surgeons, best-selling authors. Stuart, we made you a venture capitalist who made millions by the age of 25. You were a gourmet cook. You loved children. Uh, you had <laughs> ski houses that you built all by yourself. Sometimes all this worked, but most of the time, fellas, into a didn't, darn didn't thing. <laughs> well, I guess that says something about people. What does it say to you? Maybe the average person isn't giving us the credit that we deserve. Does it bother you? You know what it's, it's like to maybe hurt. I think you know what it's like to, you know, maybe to have more setbacks than taller people. David, you're nodding your head. Sure. Do you think that's oh, true? Yeah. Growing up, you take a lot of uh, abuse. You know, always being the short one and getting picked on and name calling. It happens. And we found out how very early it begins. We gave elementary school students a test, asking them to match a small, medium, or large figure of a man with a series of words. Which man is handsome? Which man is yucky? The kids overwhelmingly picked the tall figure for strong, handsome, smart. They circled the short figure for sad, scared, and weak. More than half also picked the short figure for dumb, no friends, and yucky. How many of you, when you grow up, want to be tall? And there's another decision they've already made. When you grow up and you get married, do you want your husband to be tall, medium, or short? Tall. 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 Is this a frivolous subject? Not at all. It is really, in my opinion, one of the last forms of discrimination that exists. Research shows there is discrimination, and not just from dates. One study tracked graduates of a large business school. The taller men got higher salaries, on average, $600 a year more per inch. Getting someone shorter shouldn't be a problem for women or anyone else. There are only a handful of women, in my opinion, who don't care if a man is tall or short. As a matter of fact, the majority of women enjoy tall men, which is extremely depressing. I'm not intimidated by taller girls. I do find them sexy. What I'm looking for in a woman is an open mind. You know, I, I think that's one thing that's really attractive when other people prejudge. I don't really have too much of a negative attitude about it. I like what I like. If you don't like what you don't like, that's you. but I can sway them with my personality and hopefully get them to warm up to me, want to be friends, maybe start something more than that. <laughs>